I sent my OEC certificate and my passport to the right town organization and they helped me get my admission. I paid for my invitation letter. After a few days, I got my invitation letter, then proceeded to apply for my visa. I applied for guaranteed visa through the right turn organization, and before two weeks, my visa came out and it was approved. Hello everyone, this is Mohammed from the right turn. Today we have Divine Chedera on set. We're going to ask a few questions. Uh, she's also going to educate you about the admission process from Nigeria, Ghana, or any African country generally. So we would ask her a few questions. Uh, Ms. Devan, would you please introduce yourself? My name is Divine Chidera. I am a student of International European University. I'm from Nigeria, obviously. So uh, how did you encounter the Right Turn organization in the first place? I encountered the Right Turn organization on the internet. I found him on Instagram. Okay, so would you share your first impression you had about the organization? I was skeptical about the Right Turn organization at first, but I did my researches and found out that they are legit. Right, so uh, thank you so much for your um, positive feedback. So would you please uh, do a rundown on the admission process? How did you start it? and where did you end up in, in the whole procedure. So would you please in simple terms explain to the our audience. I sent my OEC certificate and my passport to the right town organization and they helped me get my admission. I paid for my invitation letter. After a few days, I got my invitation letter, then proceeded to apply for my visa. I applied for guaranteed visa through the right turn organization and before two weeks my visa came out and it was approved. Right, so would you please tell us uh, our audience that how long did this whole process take from, from the admission to the arrival? It took like one month. Right, right. So uh, th there's been a saying that uh, the documentation in Nigeria and Ghana is a very uh, big challenge for students. What would you say about this? What was your experience during the documentation, I mean the certification of the documents? How, how did you go through this process, all of it? I used the right organization. Right, so they did everything like the certification and uh, also the attestation from the foreign ministry? Yes. So, Ms. Devine, would you, how would you differentiate uh, an organization from a competent to a non-competent? A competent organization should be based in the country you are taking the admission in. For example, Ukraine. The right turn organization was based in Ukraine. In case a student has any problem, Dating to admission and immigration problems. Mm -hmm. Any agency that is based in the country can help you sort out the problems. So, what, what, what sort of problems you are referring to? Are there any sort of big challenges during the admission, or it's easy? Like, can you specify a problem? For example, if a student pays more than the required amount and he needs a refund from the school, the agents can go in place and help you sort out the problems. Uh, Ms. Devine, do you have uh, any sort of message you want to give to our African students, uh, like uh, any sort of insightful or meaningful uh, experience you would share with them? Yes. Before choosing your agency, you should be sure they have direct connection with the school, that they are representative of the school, and be aware of the online scams. So this was all about her experience and if you want to explore more about organization we recommend you to do your research. We have a lot of content uploaded on YouTube on, and, and in fact every uh, social platform. So any suggestion or topic you want us to make a video on please drop your suggestion in the comments. We would love, I, I personally read all of your comments and would explore the, uh, all the topics in the next video. Thank you so much for sticking around. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.